Hey folks, Jenna Murgerfin here with a look at the Ego Vision, or as some vendors <coughs> vapes, calling them the Stardust, just to confuse people. Um, the Ego Vision. Uh, I, I got them from Alt Smoke and Virgin Vapor. A lot of people have them, a lot of people are out of stock. Let's take a look at what you get. So this is how they come in a package. And any both places I've bought them from, you had to buy them individually. They don't come in boxes. It's about the same size as this big Mega XL Ego cardamizer. A little smaller, a little bigger, a little longer than a standard dual coil Smoke Tech Cardo. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a look. Yeah, it's a little plastic. And what you have is a clear tank with an Ego connector. There's some measurements along the side so you know how much juice you have in there, up to one and a half mil. And then two little wicks, one on either side, just sticking out of that silicon cap over the coil that's on that tube down the middle. Nice solid mouthpiece, which unscrews. And then there's some O-rings in that silver cap that make quite a nice tight little seal. And you can see the little silicon O-ring on the top of the mouthpiece. And then you can see that there's some space just around the side, like that silicon cap above the coil there that you can see doesn't hit the sides of the cardamizer, so it's very easy to dribble juice down the side. You don't need a syringe, you don't need anything special. You just unscrew that cap. And the mouthpiece goes back in and creates a seal up over the hole of the coil. So speed filling here, and you can see as long as you dribble it down the side that it just goes in and you can measure how much you're putting in there. And you take it right up to the wicking material. And then you go ahead and push the mouthpiece in and screw it back on. And it makes a seal against the top of that silicon there for the air so no juice comes up the air piece. I haven't gotten any juice in my mouth. I haven't had, well, I've had a little leak out the bottom when I filled it too far. I've been using it on the SVR. You know, anything that's got an ego connection, it works great. Let's play with the multimeter. Uh, this is the one that I have been using for the past week. 2.7 ohms. 2.6. And here's the one we just filled. Now this one's reading at almost 4 ohms, but it doesn't vape like that. 3738, it's dropping down a little bit. They're supposed to be up to 2.9 ohms, but even if they're higher ohm, their performance on them has been great. Let's take a look at that fume. So this is the atomizer that I got, that I filled in the video, which was metering kind of high. It doesn't perform like that. This is the SVR on the low or green setting. clouds. Friends were commenting on the clouds. And I have the other one sitting on a just a standard Ego. Been sitting in my box for I don't know how long. I don't even know what kind of charge it has on it. They work pretty well. I was impressed. I, I didn't expect to be impressed. I'm kind of impressed by the design in that it's easy to fill. There aren't any pieces you need to worry about other than to refill it. I quick unscrew it. I dump some drops down the side and go. Uh, the flavor is really clean, like a CE2 only, you know, and I can't, it's got those tiny little wicks, but somehow it wicks better than the CE2s that had the long strands hanging down into the juice. Because the very act of, you know, your vaping is tipping it enough that it's getting it's getting to those wicks and it kind of, see how the juice kind of clings to that little wick along the edge there? I don't know, it just seems to work really well. Um, I mean, I have times when I, I've been using this for like the past week or so, pretty much straight, um, on the SVR when I go out for uh, a smoke break at work. Um, so during those five or 10 minutes, I chain vaped and I can't get a dry hit. I have never gotten a dry hit 
That's impressive. A little more burny sometimes, but uh, not necessarily dry. Now, if you put a whole ton of juice in there, sometimes a few drops come out the bottom. But it hasn't been ever so much that it's slid down the mod. It's, it's always been just a little bit on the inside of the connector, not a, you know, spillage, just a drip of leaks. So um, if you like cardamizers, um, if you have something that you can fit an Ego connected cardamizer on, you might want to give them a try. If you've been liking the dual coils, um, I actually like it better than the Mark II that came with the SVR, I would give them a try. Thank you.